Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Tink Tonics Town, where we're going to tinker and learn. Today, we're going to upgrade an Acer 5560 hard drive to an SSD. So in this first stage, it took five minutes and 34 seconds till Windows boots on the hard drive. I sped this process up. I had to boot into the old hard drive, which isn't mine. I inherited this device. So I wanted to recover some data and some pictures off of it. So that's why I had to boot into the old hard drive. But ultimately we're gonna change this to a SSD. And we are going to just install Windows from scratch on the SSD after I clear out the partition. So just be patient while it says, please wait. And I sped this process up for all intent and purposes. So we can see what this five minutes and 34 seconds felt like waiting. I felt like I was waiting forever. But it's no big deal. We got everything loaded. We got everything we needed off of this old hard drive. Next, we want to power off the laptop and plug the battery, power, and charger. So basically, you know, I unplug all peripherals from the laptop, the charger, everything. And then we go for the battery. Crucial that you remove the battery because there could be, well, there is power coming to your main board through the battery if it has a charge in it. Now, this laptop sat for a while and it didn't have much of a charge, but I did charge it some, so it was most appropriate to remove the battery. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the power button on this Acer a couple of times to make sure that the, anything in the capacitors is cycled out and that we have nothing charged or anything in there so that when I go to do the drive, nothing happens but a simple, you know, exchanging of the hard drive to a solid state drive. The next, we're gonna unscrew the access panel. I like this laptop a lot because it made doing this process really easy. So we're just going to go ahead and unscrew the access panel. There's three screws holding it together as far as holding it to the rest of the panel. And it's facing towards the middle of the motherboard that the three screws are and it's notched in at the edge, which is really nice. So they, they made it so you didn't have to use too many screws to access this panel. And they made it real convenient that you could access the memory and the hard drive. This is an upgradable laptop to a certain extent. So we're going to remove the access panel. And take a look at what we have inside. And as you see, the hard drive is right there. And the memory is right next to it. And then you got the in the middle of the memory and the hard drive, you have a network card, or a Wi Fi card. So you got to unscrew the drive bay and pull it away from the SATA port. It took quite a bit of force to do, and that's what I'm going to do. So I had to find a screwdriver that fit that screw, and I had to take my time and unscrew it. I try to, you know, hand unscrew things at a certain point, but it appears that that screw is deeper than I thought it was, so it took a minute to get. So we got it, got the screw out. Now we have to figure out, at the time I didn't know how this came out. So I figured out where the connection was and I figured that it just slid back. It slides back away from the SATA connection. But this was one of those moments where I just actually sit and think it out for a second. Look at things, assess it. You don't want to rush taking things apart. And that came apart beautifully. Unscrew and remove old hard drive from the bay. So 
So it's screwed in with two screws and it's notched in at the other end. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the screws and then fit in preparation for fitting the solid state drive. We're going to insert the solid state drive into the bay and fasten with the screws that we removed. Okay, we have a reactor Mushkin solid state drive, one terabyte. It's going to be pretty quick for what we have going on here. So we're going to essentially put that solid state drive in because it measures up and everything. It's a solid 2.5 inch form factor. And we're going to put it in that bracket or that, you know, that the drive bay for the laptop. And luckily the screws, you know, were threaded in a way in which it actually fit. I mean, sometimes, you know, I mean, it's a plastic case, I think. I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think, well, yeah, there's some plastic that it screws into, and the screws actually took a good bite to it, and we were able to get it to fit. So this, this project went beautifully. Oops, I dropped the screw in the panel there, but it wasn't too far for me to get. It could have fell in. It could have been worse. So we got this screw. We're going to insert the drive bay into the laptop and fasten away. All right, so the way we took it out, we're just going to do the opposite of the way we took it out. We're going to put it in that panel in that place and we're going to slide it in it takes a little bit of force as it took a little bit of force to remove it and you want to make sure that it's fully secure as i'm doing right there and then we get the screw for it and then we put it in and i imagine that the screw is kind of a ground if necessary or you know it was a ground for the old solid hard drive but it's very necessary. You don't want any loose pieces. Every screw we pulled out of this went back in. It was very neat. I give any sort of kudos for building this laptop, even though it's an old laptop. And I hope to come across many more laptops like this in my day that are easy to take apart and install, um, especially upgrading a hard drive. That's really neat that I could do that. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to screw that panel back in. I opted for a different screwdriver this time. Because the screws are relatively small. Okay. We want to make sure that's screwed in nice and tightly. It notches in or there's some, you know, clicks that had to be heard to get it in. You have to make sure you press that panel and make sure that it's in secured fully to make sure that that panel is fully secured to the laptop. And what we want is quality workmanship. All right, and then we're gonna insert the battery. Let's see here. Battery is locked in. And we are ready to do a couple of things before we set this laptop up for my purposes. I couldn't get the display to work right with this program, so I had to do it on the GoPro. But basically, I'm going through and deleting all partitions. Data is to be lost. Any data that you had on the drive will be gone. There are a number of tools that you use to do this, but I chose to use Clonezilla as a simple quick delete. So I'm going to press the chest mark at the top and it's going to apply all operations. You can ask me if I'm sure that I want to apply the pending operations. I'm going to say apply. It doesn't take long. The pending operations are complete and we just close out of uh, 
this program, G Parted. And I went ahead and uh, I installed Windows 10. I did it a fresh install because um, there was, it, it's like, having a new hard drive a blank hard drive i think that was the best thing i could do i didn't want to recover anything otherwise i would have did like a uh, you know a, a clone of the drive first but since i didn't need to do that we'll just do what i did and just load in windows the way that it's going to be loaded i don't sit for the whole install because uh, I'm sure you've seen the install of Windows. It's been done a million times. So we'll just let the files load. Make sure that everything is okay with our setup. All right. There's a welcoming screen. And then we're just going to do this Windows install all the way. All right. So please like and subscribe and leave a comment and share the video.